code and collaborate from anywhere booth in the DAC to get the latest scoop on what is new with IntelliCode. Um, and I'm joined by Alison Bukholz Al. So, Alison, what's new? What's what's happening? Oh man, what isn't new these days with IntelliCode? So, um, for those of you who have been watching along with our keynotes, uh, we had a small feature in Satya's keynote yesterday um, with whole line completion for Python as well as refactoring, which I can show you in a little bit. Um, but more than that, we also released two new features around our team models, one of which is a integration with Azure uh, DevOps so that you can build a team model as part of your pipeline, and we've made sharing team models that much easier. We now associate it with your repository so that anyone who works in the same code base as you gets it automatically. Awesome. I mean, that's that, we're going to dig into some of that in a minute, I think. But what's that like to be on the Satya keynote? Like, what's it been like for you in the, in the run-up and the team? Yeah, I mean, the team has been really, really hard at work. I hope for anyone who's watching it, they are all taking a break with some popcorn right now and enjoying the fun of seeing it unfold here at Ignite. Um, it's been some long hours, but it's been really, really awesome. Um, the team is incredibly proud of the work we've done, and we're even more excited to share all of these things with all of you. Fantastic. Right, let's dig into those features then. Um, let's take them one by one. Sure. Should we do, should we run to the demo first, or do you want to talk about them first? Uh, let's go ahead and do the demo here real fast. All right, perfect. Cool, so what I have set up here is actually what you saw a snippet of in the Satya keynote. So, Ooh, so same code? It is the same code, so if you watch very closely and play it back with the keynote, you'll see that this is you know, the same example we used. So you'll notice we're working in Visual Studio Code here, and this is a Python application. And what I'm going to show with just one key, oh, we, we slept and we woke, we're fine, we're back. Yes, yes. Um, so what you'll see here is what we're calling whole line completion. So this grayed out text is sort of like auto-suggestion you know, on steroids. We're giving you everything we could possibly give you uh, for this context. So with... So hang on, So because I'm not a Pythonista. So take me yeah. through this. So this is being suggested because we've got the, like, the parameter being passed and it seems like a sensible thing to want to do, right? To set it to a local variable. Am I right? Yeah, that's approximately right. What it's really doing is it's learned from over 3,000 open source Python repositories on GitHub um, and it's found out about, hey, when you do this sort of pattern or this style of coding, here's what you might consider writing. Um, so it's really about harnessing all of the power of the community and infusing that right into your tools. That's really cool. Let me play that back so I understand. So the kind of the smarts in that is based on like just looking across GitHub to be like, this is what everyone else is doing. This is probably what you intended. Yeah, so it's really about learning from patterns that are already out there. Because if you think about you know, how much development is done in the open source now, it's, it's massive amounts of data. And so our team is really about trying to take that code as data and turn it into intelligence that help you focus less on whether your syntax is perfect and more about actually digging into those deep technical problems. Fantastic. Do you do all like just look across all code? Like, is that how it works? Like anonymously, or is there good code, bad code? Do you like how, how does that even work? Yeah, so we've got some heuristics in play. Um, one of the very easy heuristics we use is you know how many stars it has on GitHub. So you know it's not a perfect system, but for now, if it's got you know over you know a hundred stars, we think it's approximately you know good code. Um, and we're looking at ways to improve our model such that it gets better and better. So. By using it now, you can help us improve it for the future. Fantastic. That's awesome. Is there anything else you can show us? Yeah, absolutely. So the other thing that we showed in the Satya keynote um, was refactorings. Now, what I'm showing you here are you know, demo bits. It's not available for Python right now, but it is available for C Sharp in Visual Studio today. So if you download the preview, you can set it up in tools options. You can get refactorings now. Now I keep saying refactorings, and I want to make sure everyone understands what I mean by that. So let's say you've got a bunch of code, you introduce a helper function. Generally, when you're trying to use that helper function throughout existing code, you have to do a bunch of refactorings. You're looking for patterns, you're trying to replace it, but you might miss some, you might write a regular expression, but that's difficult, right? Very error prone. I don't know about you, regular expressions are hard. Um, really hard. <laughs> right. And so what refactorings does is it looks at your local edits. 
and we see, are you doing a sort of similar pattern over and over again? Think about how flash fill works in Excel. It's built off the same technology that looks across your local changes and then builds a refactoring on demand. Wow, I'm just kind of getting my head around that. Okay, that's, that's interesting. Yeah. yeah, maybe an example might help. Uh, absolutely, right. yeah. Cool, so I'm just going to go ahead and open this. And what you'll see here is that I made a bunch of changes in this file ahead of time so we could jump to the meet here. And you'll notice we have these starred suggestions that say, oh, IntelliCode is suggesting this change. So if I double click on it, it takes me to the place where I might apply this change. And now if I scroll over to the side, I can click this light bulb and actually introduce the helper function here and it's telling me all the different places I might want to actually incorporate this into my code base. So I don't have to go hunting through for all the places this helper function applies. Wow, that's, that's really cool. I can't wait to try that. And that's, I can do that today in C-sharp and soon for everything else? Today in C-sharp and hopefully in Python and other languages coming soon. Fantastic, that's, that's so cool. I'm, yeah, I'm really impressed by that. Like, that's really cool. How, how do you feel like shipping things like that that kind of, they're going to help everybody kind of just their whole day job, the stuff they do every day. Yeah, there are so many people who have come to this booth and are just like, this really changes the way we work. Whether I'm learning a new API, whether I'm you know building in these refactorings, all of these things really add up and it feels amazing to ship them. Fantastic, it's, this has been so cool. Um, I'm really excited for this. I can't wait to try it. Thank you so much, Alison. And with that, we're gonna go and see what's happening on the live stage. Hi, 